Friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and greetings from home. I hope y'all are doing well out there. On this episode of Talk Zach, I'm fixing to talk about the truck stop selfie. And how you can have a better one right now. So, you get to the truck stop and decide you look so good. You want to take a self-portrait. Here's some do's and don'ts. Do. Stop at the cashier and get one yourself a headset like this one. And get a trucker cap while you're at it. Because I think these actually enhance your image. Instead of detracting from it. Don't strip your shirt or your jacket off. Because when your shirt's off and you're showing the you-know-what, it just looks gross. Especially if you have fake you-know-whats under your bra or under your shirt. So just wear a shirt. Don't wear anything less than that. Do clean your lens and perhaps the mirror before you take the portrait. I don't know how many times I've seen on my Instagram where someone, some of these spam followers and Insta porners, whatever, I'll, I'll call them that, but they try to make their selfie look good and in a, in a really bad way where they do kind of a forced sexual pose, but then the mirror's dirty. I mean, come on. You can't enhance your breasts when there's specks of dust on the mirror. So clean your lens and clean your mirror. They've got paper towels right there along with soap and water for you to do just that. That's why you're doing it in a truck stop. Third, do choose a clean truck stop. Those mom and pop places nowadays are filthy as you all get out. Me personally, I usually do my stuff at Pilot Flying J, but I also have been known to do it at Love's and at TA Petro. And, of course, down here in Texas, you might not see the little beaver in the background. Let me point the camera towards it. See that little beaver right about there? Becky's! It is one of my favorite places to go for a truck stop selfie because they're not really a truck stop, but they have absolutely clean bathrooms. Uh, and also, you can always do it at home. You don't need a truck stop to do a selfie. And at home, you have more options. And lastly... Unless you're marketing for a hotel, don't do it in a hotel bathroom unless you are forced to do it that way. Because time and time again, I see it where, like, you can see the coffee pot over here and the shampoo over there. It just, it's just not the same as at home. So, therefore, I would encourage you to find a different location in order to do your selfie. And one final tip of advice. Since you're not going to be able really carry in your full-size SLR or mirrorless camera into the bathroom and you're just going to be restricted to your phone, uh, get the best phone you can afford. I mean, before you even take the picture. Because camera quality has changed in the last few years. And some of you using the lower end and cheaper phones are being left behind. So between a good smartphone, full clothes outfit, and a good ball cap and headset, you should be good to go.
for your next great selfie. <laughs> I'm Zach Bell. This is Talkin' Talk Zach. And let's make your next selfie a great one. I will catch you later. Bye for now.